Hi there, my name is Carl Stanford, and I'm pleased to give you again a warm welcome to my channel on YouTube. As you will know, painting is hard of using graphical representation of blind granddaughter, organic pigments, and synthetic fingers. Similarly, painting is one of hopeless human art forms and is considered as one of the fine arts. Today I talk you about how much weight does this ratio when creating an artwork? Art of painting, inspiration versus love of market. On style, painters feature. Throughout history, genres of painting have remained almost intact, as viewers, as lovers, and collectors not always went to paintings, from landscapes to portraits. However, one of genres has prevailed over than others, such as still life, which depicts inanimate objects taking from daily life. That when it's both, it merges with the dining set of the house. In this slide, you can watch well a series of masterpieces that clearly describe the style of their respective authors. The Crown of Thorns by Geronimus Bosch Spring by Sandra Balticelli, Riverscape by Thomas Gainsborough, Painted Artist Garden by Claude Monet, Blank 2 by Vasily Kandinsky, and Magic Mountain, or After That Thomas Mann by Kristen Tannis. Notably, abstract painting had its beginnings in the 50th decade in the context of the contemporary art with expression of the things that the way perceived is delighted by the human eye, as if the receiver is strolling into an unknown dimension. A clear example of this is Red Claw by Paul Klee and Ladies of Avignon by Pablo Ritz Picasso. And this artwork also is not related to these two as one of the most important genres of painting. Like this, Still Life with Crowd by Francisco de Surbaran. It could be said that Salvador Dali and Juan Miro, Spanish surrealist artists, Pablo Picasso and Juan Ruiz, pioneers of Curry's Heart, and Piet Mondrian, Dutch neoplastic artists, have been pioneers of abstract art that we know today. Such as linear strokes separating one color from another, shapes interlaced, or colorful silhouettes crossing the canvas. This and other features are evident in the artworks Big Masturbator by Salvador Dali and Carnival of Harlequin by Juan Miro. However, in 19th and early 20th century, it is still dominated genres of still life and landscape, such as the Still Life with Onions by Paul Cezanne and the Roxas Etretat After Stone by Gustave Courbet. However, for many artists, it's so hard to stand out among the others in wanting to create their own style and they are forced to remain in the shadow of the stress and the moment trade strong for the market. Hence, we ask the next question. Should we create our own artistic style, giving the first step to give a new face to the painting, or stick to what the market demands? Is it possible that art and business go hand in hand? Many times, explaining this without opening those who are watching this video. Some painters, for winning money, usually make pictures from photos of works that already exist, rather than seeking the metaphor that is inspiration, that sticks out their masterpiece from another artwork. Here's goes through my mind the following rumination. If inspiration is key to creating a beautiful artwork, how many horizons it will cost? Well, I hope you like it. I cordially invite you to visit my blog 
follow me on social networks and subscribe to the channel. The information is right at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your company and see you at next opportunity. Goodbye.